We all wanna know as much as we possibly can about the audiences that we're advertising to. On this channel, we've already talked about the Google Ads Audience Insights tool, as well as the Facebook Ads Audience Insights tool. But today, I wanna to talk about the one that I think gives us the most data and the most information to actually work with and optimize our campaigns, and it's the LinkedIn website demographics. Let's jump in. Once you're in the LinkedIn Ads account, there are gonna be a couple different places we're gonna look for the information for website demographics. The first is at a very high level, we just wanna see what types of users are coming to our website in general, who is being cookied, and what categories do they fall into. So in the main campaigns manager, you're just gonna head up to this website demographics up here, click on that, and it'll take you to a screen that looks like this. It's gonna to start to show you what the different breakdowns are of the audience who has come to your site. It'll always default to one of the audiences that you have in place, and then it'll show you the different breakdowns of the default, which is job function over here, and it'll show you the percentage of page views that are being attributed to the different job functions as they match up to the LinkedIn targeting. So one of the cool things is you can actually look at all different sorts of audiences, whoever you've created an audience for within the LinkedIn audience manager system, you can actually see on this website demographics tool. So you would just click this little drop down and it'll show you a bunch of different audiences that you can choose from. You can even create a new one to pick from. One of the things that I really like to do is to actually compare a couple of audiences. It's already got this separate uh, compare to website audience in here. You just click this drop down and then let's say we want to compare to blog visitors for this one. So now it's going to show us the different job functions and how they compare for the two separate audiences that we've had. So for whatever reason, sales has spent a lot of time on the blog, whereas the all visitors audience hasn't. Um, more biz dev people are in the all visitors audience but have not been visiting the blog. But job function is only the default portion of targeting that it shows you. You can actually choose the drop down over here. It'll show you a number of different pieces, right? So we can look at job title, company, industry, um, company size, job seniority, all this stuff. Let's take a look at job seniority. So again, some big differences when we can look between all visitors versus blog visitors for the senior group, uh, the senior managers, whoever is considered in a senior role um, within a company. But if you look down at manager, that's pretty close and it'll go through all the different job seniority functions that are there. You can then choose different date ranges to compare. So maybe you've been running a campaign for a number of months and you wanna see if you're actually making an impact. You can choose either from their regular preset date ranges or choose your own custom date range and see who you're driving to your website and just compare performance there. But that's just one way that we can see information just based on the people coming to the website. What about actual campaign performance? Let's hop back into the campaign manager so once you're back into the campaign manager, we can start to see campaign level data, but we've got to adjust things a little bit first. So you can see here that there are a couple of buttons that are grayed out. One of them, namely, is demographics, and that's what we want. So what we need to do is come down and just click one of the campaigns that we want, not click on it to manage, but actually just click the checkbox next to it. I'm gonna check one that's just got a decent number of conversions. Now that you'll see that that button has come back into bright blue, so we can click on that to see the actual demographic performance of that campaign. So let's go ahead and do that. Now we can see the performance at impression, click, and conversion levels for each of the different job functions within the same date range for this campaign. Again, job function is just the typical breakdown that's here. Same with the date range. You can customize that as much as you want just in the previous section. Um, but this is really impactful because now we can start to see that BizDev has a decent number of conversions come through. Sales, quite a number of conversions. Whereas support, even though it's got 20% of the impressions, 18% of the clicks, it hasn't generated a conversion, or if it has, it's probably only one, maybe two conversions that have come through. You'll notice that this below minimum reporting will show up, and even though the number of conversions that are being shown here don't total the number on the campaign. My experience is that if you have only one or two conversions in a bucket, it's not gonna show it, it's just gonna say below reporting minimum. So just keep that in mind, but check into a number of different areas. What does the job seniority look like? Who's converting on these campaigns? So here, same sort of thing. 
senior job seniority folks have quite a number of conversions, but then there are a number of people who have quite a bit of clicks, quite a bit of impressions on the campaigns that just aren't converting or are pretty low, whereas you might want to try and hone in a little bit more on those CXO users because they're the ones who are converting. Just remember that this is probably a much smaller audience than these people who are entry, manager, VP, that sort of thing. So it could get a little bit more expensive. But if these are the folks who are going to convert, now you've got the data to go in and support why you're shifting your budget, why you might be willing to pay a slightly higher CPC to focus on that much more targeted audience because those are the folks who are actually going to convert. Thanks for watching our video. Make sure to subscribe to the Paid Media Pros channel to see more videos.